I am on Patreon and Patreon is a platform where, where I will upload interesting videos where you can learn astrology and this is an exclusive Patreon only membership videos where you will get some interesting takes on Vedic astrology, some interesting learning on Vedic astrology. Connect with me on Patreon and we will grow and I will give you much more deep insights on Vedic astrology and a lot more secrets will be shared there. Hello Seekers, welcome to Panis Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. And uh, continuing with the Jupiter Transit series. Uh, Jupiter will make its move in the sign of Aries on 22nd April. Ascendant wise videos will come very soon, but I want you to get, get the information, as much information as possible about uh, the transit of Jupiter. So we know that a zodiac sign also has nakshatras. So the sign of Aries ha holds three nakshatra, Ashwini, Bharani and Kritika. Ashwini's four padas, Bharani's four padas and Kritika's first pada will be in the Aries zodiac sign. Now this also uh, means that from 0 degrees of Aries to 13 degrees, 20 minutes of Aries, Jupiter will experience the presence of Ashwini nakshatra, the nakshatra that is ruled by uh, Ashwini Kumars, the divine doctors and physicians as per Vedas and the planetary association with this nakshatra is of Ketu. So the moment Jupiter enters this nakshatra, it will interact with the energies of Ketu and Mars. From 22nd of, of April till 21st of June, Jupiter will be in Ashwini nakshatra. It will come back to Ashwini but uh, later this year, it, at towards the end of this year, once it will become retrograde, but we will restrict this video from 22nd April till 21st of June. Ashwini is a nakshatra that represents healing, spirituality, metaphysical activities. It is a nakshatra that holds the power of Ketu and Mars combined. So it means it is like uh, the life force. It is like the life force inside the seed breaking the shell and coming out alive, crossing all the tough barriers that is given and then it comes out as a small shoot, a small twig which then converts into a plant which then converts into a tree. So definitely this initial break needs Ketu's energy because Ketu will break open anything. Ketu needs that that uh, that positive tearing force that allows one dimension to move to the other dimension and the moment jupiter enters this nakshatra jupiter which is a jiva karaka gives this life brings life into vision brings it into reality so what it will do is it is going to break open minds of lot of people and lot of new things will be created during this time you will also see that this is this will be the time when there will be a lot of startups entrepreneurship self-dependency self-reliance this concept itself will boom a lot because jupiter is very active in aries zodiac sign it is after all agni tattva zodiac the first instinct of the jupiter entering this ashwini nakshatra will be to interact with the Martian energies, create a desire that will need end of another desire. That means you have to trade off one desire with, with another desire and maybe you will feel that you are getting upgraded. Imagine you are, you are having a very good Android phone but you are trading it off to buy an iPhone because that is your desire. Beforehand, it was your desire to have that Android phone and now your desires are getting upgraded. So Jupiter is going to expand that desire. But the motive of Jupiter is not to bring greed into the action, but the motive of Jupiter is to bring life into action, positivity into action, because without the force of karma, nothing will exist. Without desire, nothing will exist. The world exists 
because of will because of desire because the world wants to exist otherwise everything is dead so so you have to understand that desire is important but if desire goes beyond a threshold and control then it counters then it becomes tamasic then it becomes negative and this negative or tamasic desire that is being accelerated by the presence of rahu in ashwini will be countered by great knowledge by jupiter so imagine that on one side there is a humongous amount of knowledge coming your way and on the other hand there is a magnanimous amount of illusion created by you maybe you believe in in a certain kind of you know concept of life and now suddenly you will be encountered possibly with a very different kind of reality so the first thing that jupiter nashwini will teach us is to remain flexible lot of unlearning will be needed lot of relearning is needed especially if you are a student or if you are a seeker seeker of knowledge seeker of adhyatma spirituality because when jupiter will go into ashwini it is going to test the spirituality for all of us who think are on the spiritual path because this will demand ketu's activation this will demand ketu to get triggered so that it ends something but if we have this habit to cling on certain things then it will become a difficult journey for all of us because jupiter has to give rise has to give has to bring that power of creation in front and for that it is going to end a certain chapter in life say for example you were uh, uh, too associated with say say so one company or you have one kind of job or one kind of role and suddenly you will realize that you are redundant and then there will be a sudden realization that what have i done i need to do something about it and then suddenly there will be a moksha so don't be surprised if suddenly you you change your personality you change your attitude your desire itself changes your want changes obviously need will not change but want can change so this jupiter transit in ashwini's first impression is to that it will change the desire and the mindset of people and it will ask you to face your rahu so first thing is that you will be asked to face your fears so this is the time when you pray to bhagwan narayan to get that help talk to the universal brahma the creator force through narayan by chanting om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya every day and this is not a chanting as a part but this is a chanting as if you're calling the god you need that answer and the answers are going to come while jupiter will be in ashwini now ashwini nakshatras have have four padas the first pada will be ruled by aries navamsha and the last pada is will be ruled by kark cancerian navamsha that means when jupiter will enter aries zodiac sign for the first 3 degree 20 minutes jupiter will be vargottama and that is the time when jupiter will be acting in its full force a force which will be supported by the third aspect of saturn i think we are failing to understand the importance of this transit saturn from the sign of aquarius remember saturn is not in a bad position with respect to aries even with jupiter in aries saturn wants to cut down unnecessary so anything in excess that you don't need you might suddenly realize that you will have to pay bring that attention somewhere else so remain flexible be very adaptive learn quickly from the surrounding you will have to have a very steep learning curve it is a it is a very crucial time for students and seekers and other on the other hand it is a very important time for philosophical mentors people involved into psychology people involved in medicine people who are who are involved into healing practices tarot astrology spirituality because jupiter and rahu together can give you either the knowledge of the other world or it can simply make you realize that you stand nowhere 
वट एवर हैपन्स एक्सेप्टेड एंड ऑलवेज फोकस वॉट नेक्स्ट हाउ कैन आई इम्प्रूव दिस जुपिटर इज हेयर टू गिव दैट इम्प्रूवमेंट सो टेल आस्क ओके I accept your teachings I accept your assessment about my knowledge please help me give me more please help me give me a better standing in life and that is how jupiter is going to hand hold your growth in spite of rahu being in aries zodiac sign and in ashwini nakshatra first week of jupiter transit will be heavy so refrain from taking any unimportant decisions during that time and after that you can slowly according to your own chart work out the jupiter transit but there will be a there will be a time when jupiter will be in the last pada of ashwini nakshatra in the cancerian navamsha that is exalted navamsha of jupiter so all auspicious tasks can be done during that time and you can expect something very unique something special especially in your career and from the areas ruled by aries in your birth chart now for aries ascendant it is going to be on your lagna so definitely it is going to take you to a very different ride you will feel very different uh, during this time you will feel that your responsibility lies somewhere else you will feel that you need to save more money you will have this subconscious message coming your way you will have this metaphysical activity going on in your brain you will your sixth sense will shoot up and you will suddenly be more aware than ever which is good for you it is also going to affect your marriage big time because uh, this is also going to aspect the seventh house and if you have planets in the sign of libra then this is going to directly aspect the 7th house heal your marriage during this time because this is the best opportunity so finding a new opportunity in your career especially in business can be done also you can correct your business or any loopholes if your business seems to be impossible to recover maybe you will get one opportunity to recover but you have to make sure that your own existence your own thought process you in person should not be your enemy for taurus if you observe this is happening in the 12th house 12th house is a very unique house it is the house of subconscious mind and when jupiter goes in ashwini nakshatra it suddenly elevates the experience in dreams so you have to give more importance to your dreams than ever before you will have to do some dream analysis if you see recurring numbers all that has to be seen this is a good time for people who want to move to a foreign country this is a good time for people who want to who want to heal through a doctor that is available in foreign you know remote healing or going to a different country for hospitalization going to a different city to heal you might get that opportunity during this time also this is also the time when you can dispose uh, you know your vehicle you can sell off your vehicle if you want if it is not selling for a long time or if you were dreaming to buy a second hand vehicle you might get it this is also the time when you will have to focus more on hidden enemies because your hidden enemies will come right in front of you and then you will realize that certain people's criticism was actually for your own benefit so think about that coming to gemini gemini ascendant natives will see great healing and great changes coming in their source of income it is more about gains your gains will expand but in order to gain something you will have to barter something in exchange this will ask you to be in the company of the gurus and the divine masters whereas rahu will ask you to be in the modern you know lifestyle but then it is your choice where you want to go saturn is in your ninth house don't forget that so if you take the company of the knowledge if you take the company of the people who know gyan 
if you get associated with such kind of such kind of uh, you know environment you will stand to gain for cancer this is going to be a unique time because in the last pada of ashwini nakshatra jupiter will go into cancer navamsha directly affecting your lagna so if you want to work out about yourself your health or if you want to recover your reputation if you want to focus on the image building exercise if you want to work on uh, you right know, if you're an influencer or if you're a healer or if you're a public speaker this is a good time for you you can also build a career in these areas build a livelihood out of these branching out from the current career maybe from a corporate career and shifting to the metaphysical world meditating quite a good for a quite good time in a day will be really helpful while jupiter is in ashwini nakshatra if you see the second segment leo to scorpio for leo this is going to be tremendously transforming because jupiter will be in the ashwini nakshatra in the 9th house that means it is going to change the way you think and you believe in something it will force you to unlearn and relearn some advanced sciences so people who want to do phd's who wants to enroll into professional courses who wants to go into engineering and technology they will say they will see a good boost in their in their career and also their decisions might change and you might see that there is a different future if you if you change your decision be careful about while changing the decision but decision can change during this time so work on that ninth house also means that you will have to focus on your dharma and dharma means duty your duties may be reevaluated and this can affect both your duty in your personal life towards your family members and also your career which means change of role traveling is also possible for virgo this is going to be the highest form of metaphysical transit and if you are a virgo moon sign then this is going to affect your mind in the greatest way possible because this is jupiter entering the zone of ashtama bhava 8th house the metaphysical house in ashwini nakshatra the metaphysical nakshatra and if you have psychic planets placed if you have a psychic horoscope then this is suddenly going to improve the quality of your your abilities maybe 10 times for virgo ascendant you will just have to be very careful about your health and this will bring changes or it will force you to secure your life and take some drastic decisions uh, that you have never thought before so surprises are there but these are positive surprises for libra this is going to be the transit in the 7th house jupiter in ashwini and while jupiter is in the 7th house this is going to tremendously impact your marriage and how you deal with circumstance that means criticism is on the way a reality check is on the way don't react accept everything that comes and focus on how to adjust with whatever is being offered to you if you want to heal your marriage this is a possible time if there are doshas that are not letting you get married remedies done related to marriage during this time will will be will make it possible obviously if everything is in the will of god and your horoscope but it might be possible that blessings of jupiter might you know the ketu energy might take away the curse that is possible if we truly pray to the divine if we truly do the upasana in the right manner also it's a time where you will have to take some tough decisions in the in the business sector you will have you will have to take some seriously strong reforms and uh, if you don't you will be forced to so think about that
for scorpio uh, this is going to be a very unique placement and because it will be in the 6th house so so jupiter in the 6th house is basically when your own knowledge the knowledge that you think you know becomes your enemy so this is the time where you will have to simply be a student vidyarthi don't try to execute anything rather just focus on what is the learning that you get from life at least for the first 3 uh, 4 weeks let jupiter cross rahu in the month of a uh, first week of june and then it will allow the the month of june will be tremendously beautiful for you but for the april and may try to be slightly cautious especially related to health because it is going to heal you so work on your health work on diet work on cholesterol control also donate some money to the needy and especially uh this is the good time for people who want to start a you new, new startup you know they you say that the company is very nascent the idea is very nascent fine let the company start let the idea come let something come up from the creative powers of your life for sagittarius this is going to be tremendously strong transit because it is your lagna lord ascendant lord it, your ascendant is also a part of the fire trine jupiter goes in the fire trine it encounters with rahu it encounters the ashwini it is going to simply explode the hidden knowledge and all those who are associated with mantras with upasanas with puja should give most of your time while jupiter is in this nakshatra towards the mantra jap the doing the good karma and focusing more and more and more on the knowledge part of life because learning is the key lot of secret knowledge will come to you wherever you are lot of secrets will be revealed to you but you will know you must know how to keep the secrets within and not reveal it people doing tantra people doing the upasana of 10 mahavidyas will see great growth lot of people will experience kundalini awakening and people who were completely unaware of spiritual practices will suddenly come into spirituality and they will realize that they are meant for something else so this realization this romance with spirituality this romance with healing will happen but you have to also heal your solar plexus this is going to take out the black snakes of fear from your stomach so you need to heal your solar plexus face your fear and use lot of yellow colors turmeric might be helpful during this time and also sitting on a yellow asana use of chandan all that will be helpful chanting the name of narayan chanting vishnu sahasra naam and doing some fire rituals yeah yagya and homam will be extremely positive not only for career here i am not even talking about career i am talking about whole life in general think about it capricorn now if you're talking about capricorn as a zodiac as an ascendant uh jupiter will be in the fourth house so this is going to transform the way you feel happiness you will feel more happy in meditation going into the transcendental space of the mind going beyond the boundaries of mind but don't use any negative thing that helps you take to that domain because that is not what jupiter wants that is rahu's world not jupiter's world jupiter's world is that you take the name of krishna so much with so deep emotions that it transports you to that dimension and you can connect with the divineness oneness and you can become one with the divine so create a spiritual atmosphere in your home play some bhajan while you are driving not that you have to be distracted not that you are insulting but just an environment keeping giving a feed to your own thought because fourth house is your comfort area so you must be comfortable with spirituality this is going to trouble 
atheists a lot because they don't believe but yes if you have a humanitarian approach of life even if you see say that i don't believe in god but i see this world as god i see and believe what is being shown to me then don't worry you will be shown what is the true god what is the true nature of reality and then believe i'm not saying that be a believer here you have to be a seeker sleep carefully and change the pattern of your sleep and take care of your mother's health don't fight for home real estate at least until jupiter crosses 10 degrees for aquarius this will be a unique time because this is jupiter in the third house and because jupiter will be transiting in the third house with rahu this is this might increase frustration this might increase expenses and you will think that you will have to immediately heal yourself financially you might also see that you are getting more involved in the life of your siblings brothers and sisters especially uh, when they don't want you to be involved that can create disturbances your own preaching habit can cause problems silence is going to be the right way to address this jupiter transit and going with the flow is the right manner how you which you can execute the jupiter transit and constantly learning is the way how you should live the jupiter transit for pisces this is going to be a very unique because this is your lagna lord going in the second house and because your lagna lord goes in the second house it encounters rahu ketu mars the equations in your family will change big time you will see that a uh, lot of relations will be shuffled they will be lost and a new relations will be found you might suddenly uh, find uh, you might suddenly find association of long lost friend and uh, you will also see encounter you will also see encounter with the higher divine forces maybe you will you know you will feel the presence of god in your own house because everything is metaphysical this is also a transit which has the potential to heal the problems in your family relations but somebody has to do some sacrifice nobody can just go get all, go on with whatever they were going with the current setup the setup will change the structure will change while jupiter will be in the aries zodiac in ashwini nakshatra for pisces lagna financially this is going to change lot of things in your life and if you have a dental problem resolve it immediately address the health of your gums and your throat eat right and speak right and don't curse especially when you are sad and when you are lonely when you feel bad don't curse overall jupiter transit in ashwini nakshatra is a transit of new life is a transit of new beginnings new career opportunities you will see new companies being opened up people changing their careers roles getting changed new ideas coming your way new technology coming new kind of job coming new kind of education new education policy new geopolitical relation completely as if as if when you will see the world and see your life towards the end of the jupiter transit in aries you will see that the world has changed forever what our duty is that while jupiter is in aries we have to heal the world we have we must heal the nature and we must heal the climate so that part of the universe that part of the world affair will also trigger where you are thinking more on the climate change and otherwise climate or the nature will give you a warning sign this was all about jupiter transit in aries in ashwini nakshatra the next nakshatra transit will come in video will come in june jupiter transit in aries for all ascendant will come very soon please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss another update we'll meet you in the next video till then namaste